Hi you guys, welcome to today's vlog. First and foremost, how are we feeling about the new intro? <laughs> I was like, yo, it's time for a little refresh, a little revamp on my channel. So I got a new intro, a new outro. I changed the banner on my profile or on my YouTube page. And I also changed my profile picture because I was like, we need a we need something fresh okay so let me know what you guys think of the new intro shout out to i believe her name is pronounced janae i'm so sorry if i'm pronouncing that incorrectly but that is where i got my intro from this one and my previous one as well she does really great intros outros youtube banners everything and then also shout out to my girl asia because she helped me so much finally uh with finally figuring out how to get good music for my youtube channel for a while i've been wanting to add a little more like personality a little bit more of yeah like a personal touch to my vlog specifically and i was like how do the youtube girlies get like good music and i already knew how but i didn't know how to find the songs um i just knew that they would get them from like soundcloud and stuff like that but i didn't know exactly like how do you search for good music anyway my girl asia helped me out and so now we can finally add some bomb music to the vlogs don't get me wrong, the generic lo-fi beats are also really good for B-roll and stuff like that. But I was like, I want to add a little something. A little something more. Y'all know I love music. So I was like, I just feel like my we need something extra. So anyway, for today, like you guys saw, first off, let me give you a little update. I ended up, I have some stuff on my table, but I ended up adding these to the dining room. And I like the color that it adds. I'm still not done with fall decorating whatsoever, but I did add that. And then I don't know if I showed you how this looked in the daytime. I think I showed you how it looked at night. But I ended up adding those little pumpkins right there, the candle. And then I just put together my flowers of the week. These are freaking stunning. They're kind of like whimsical. They have these little like wild looking greenery things in here and then they have pretty pink flowers i think next week we'll probably do more of like a fall inspired one so those are the little that's where i ended up putting the small little trinkets i've gotten so far for the fall and then i did end up putting the vase over here that white one that i was talking about and this honestly i didn't even mean to keep this greenery out for the entire year <laughs> i meant to only have this out for like christmas time but i just never found other stems to put in there so that is on my list of things to look for for the fall is some new stems because these i'm going to bring them back out more around like christmas time because i feel like it looks kind of more like a christmas tree stem um so yeah that white vase from crate and barrel ended up putting it right here next to my books and stuff so that's that okay so for today we kind of have a lot not kind of we do have a lot going on let me try to sit you guys down we have a lot to do today this morning i went to the chiropractor he kicked my butt anytime i go because i go to the chiropractor and then i get massages on my like back area because that's where i feel like some discomfort or whatever and every single time i finish with the massaging the day after and the following day i'm like bruised up and sore but it in the moment it hurts so bad i today almost cried i almost cried today because i was like this hurts so bad and then sometimes they do cupping and then sometimes they do like i think it's called the theragun the one that like vibrates and it like kind of pounces on you and then uh there's this other tool that they use that like they kind of drag onto your skin and i'm just like but i end up walking out of there not walking out of there feeling good because it still kind of hurts but after like two three days it feels really good so i went to go do that this morning 
and then I went to Starbucks. I ordered pretty much the same drink that I normally order, except I added, instead of doing the four pumps of vanilla. Okay, let me just tell you the drink, even though some of you guys probably already know what drink I get. But I get a grande iced blonde vanilla latte with either vanilla cold foam or pumpkin cold foam. Yeah, pumpkin cold foam. And then I add a little bit of caramel drizzle and I always do extra ice because the ice with the lattes I've noticed it melts really really quick so I always ask for extra ice and this time instead of doing the four pumps of vanilla syrup I did two pumps of the vanilla and two pumps of this like apple brown sugar syrup that they have it is so 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 good I'm trying to see how I can make it a little less sweet because this time it came out super super sweet which I usually love like a sweeter coffee anyway, but this time it was like a little too sweet. So I think next time I'm gonna do less syrup, but overall the drink was bomb. So I got that and then I got myself a sandwich. And then now I'm back home and it's 1.30. And right now I'm gonna write down what I have to do. So this weekend, we're having a surprise birthday party for my mom's 50th birthday. First of all, I can't even believe she's already hitting that milestone she looks so good <laughs> for i mean 50 is still like a young good age but she looks so good so anyway we're having a 50th birthday for her and so y'all know me i love to host i love to throw parties i love to do all of that and so i haven't really been in my hosting bag as of lately <laughs> i've kind of been like eh, i don't feel like hosting i don't feel like throwing anything i don't feel like being extra but we're getting to it this time, finally. I think the last time I hosted something or threw something was Valentine's Day, and that came out really cute. And then ever since then, I was kind of like, eh, I don't really feel like doing all that. <laughs> With that being said, the past few weeks, I've kind of been planning stuff here and there, sending out the invitation, all of that. And then this week is the week where I get everything done. I wanna try to get everything done today, as a matter of fact. Today's Tuesday and the party's on Saturday. But I also have some content I need to get done this week and I just feel like this week because yesterday was Labor Day, it's gonna go by fast. By the time this vlog goes up, um, the party will have already passed, yeah. And I don't think my mom, I don't know. I feel like she knows something's up because she's usually the one that hosts and throws parties or she's part of the surprise parties. So she probably is like, something's going on but we're trying to distract her to make it seem like wait are they doing something are they not like what's going on so yesterday her birthday is tomorrow wednesday and so yesterday monday we got together at her house and we did a little cake for her and it was like my family all my family was there we had food all that stuff and then i told her that on saturday which is the day of the party, we are going to go to dinner. I'm like, are you guys busy on Saturday? Cause I want to take you guys out to a new restaurant that you guys haven't been to. Um, and they were like, yeah, we're free or whatever. So I'm trying to make her think like, okay, they, we're going to go eat at this restaurant. So there's no way there's like going to be a party. And obviously everybody knows it's a, it's a surprise. So I'm like hoping that because we did the cake for her yesterday, with my family, all my immediate family, and because I told her we're going to dinner on Saturday, hopefully she doesn't think anything of it. And <laughs> um, I've, I've done one too many surprise things and hosting and all that, so I kind of already know what to do. So also, this wasn't my idea. This is actually one of my aunt's, one of my tia's idea, ideas, but she told me about it. And so I messaged or I, yeah, messaged one of my aunts and I told her to invite my mom over to her house on Friday because she lives about an hour, hour and a half away. And usually when they go to their house, they go out, they drink, and they sometimes stay over there. So I told her, if you're not busy Friday, invite my mom over to your house um, to go eat for her birthday um, and then have them just sleep over. That way on Saturday, on Friday night, I can go to my parents' house, set everything up, and then Saturday morning, the tables and chairs get delivered and I wouldn't want her to see them. So if she leaves Friday, she won't even know that we're at her house on Friday. 
and Saturday morning. So when she returns on Saturday, everything will already be set up. I'm still trying to figure out the timing as far as t like when I want to tell her to arrive for dinner. Um, so she's going to arrive hopefully already ready and dolled up. All she's going to have to do is change, which I bought her two dresses. I had my sister go on her Amazon account and she had two dresses saved in her save for later. And so I told her to send them to me and I ordered both of those dresses in black in her size and they're gonna get delivered to my house. And I ordered them on my Amazon account, obviously, so she wouldn't see the order. Um, and then I'm gonna take them with me on Friday when I take all of this stuff over to their house and set up. That way if she does arrive on Saturday already dolled up, all she has to do is change. If she doesn't arrive already done up, she'll have time to get herself ready. She usually doesn't take long anyway. And she'll already have her outfits there and their two dresses that she was already looking at that she wanted. So whichever one she doesn't end up wearing, I can just return it and she'll have her outfit. And the theme of the party is black and gold, maybe white as well. And so that's why I bought her dresses in black. And yeah, <laughs> that's kind of like the whole rundown. Um, and I'm explaining all of this because I always get asked like how do you host events like what tips do you have or like when it comes to throwing surprise parties or just doing things in general like how do you come up with these ideas or whatever and so I was like let me just kind of explain it to them give them a rundown um, so yeah the invitation I already made the invitation and sent it out a few weeks back and the invitations I usually make them on Canva you could use PicMonkey as well, but I just prefer Canva because you can search on their black and gold invitation and a bunch of them will pop out that are free, some you have to pay for. Um, just whatever theme you're going for, you can look up an invitation and make one on there. And then my sister yesterday, she ordered all of our dresses. I think we're all wearing the same dress for the party, which is gonna be really cute because we're all gonna be matching. Um, and we're wearing a black dress as well. So she ordered those. She's also gonna order the food and then I'm kind of doing some of the other stuff. Now, also when it comes to hosting and throwing parties, I am very blessed and lucky to have a very helpful and supportive family because they always offer to help with something. Um, there's not one time I've hosted where people just come empty-handed they always bring something even if i'm like don't bring anything we don't they always bring something so for my mom's birthday party we are going to be doing catering we're going to be doing chicken because i was like i don't want people cooking and even with me saying that they're still going to be cooking even though i was like i don't want anybody to be working and cooking and doing all of that um so i was like okay we're gonna do catering i'm gonna order some chicken and then my aunt was like okay i'm gonna make rice beans a pasta salad one of my other tias is gonna make lasagna my cousin rosie is gonna make her haiba which is if you don't know it's like a seafood plate it's imitation crab avocado cucumber i think um cilantro things like that uh what else what else what else i think they're gonna make some like spicy shrimp plate as well and then they helped me with going to the store and getting waters and sodas because they were like on sale or something and then my dad is gonna go get the beer of course <laughs> he's gonna do the beer run and get all the beer and pretty much all the alcohol that's needed for the party and then um the rest is we're getting that done my sister is the one that's gonna order the chicken so um, where I was going with that is that having people that help you with parties and with hosting and all of that is very, 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 very helpful. It just takes a little bit off of your plate labor wise and obviously expense wise because a lot of times if they're willing to help, it's because they're like, okay, we want to pitch in and help with something. And so that um, is super 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 helpful and of course another thing that is really helpful that i use is pinterest i always use pinterest to get inspiration as a matter of fact i'm going to go on my pinterest right now when we make this list of things we need to do 
and I'm gonna look at the ideas that I pinned for decorations and for um, things that I want to add so I, I only have a few things saved here I just make a little private board and this is like some of the stuff that I have on there so some because the theme is black gold and white I think I have these Oreos right here that are dipped in white chocolate and they have gold sprinkles and then there's like some decor here a champagne I don't think we're gonna do the champagne tower because my mom likes beer <laughs> And so um, I don't think we're gonna do that. Either either way, my family's not really into champagne like that. I just thought it was a cute idea. And then I'm gonna do something like this, which is um, like a memory jar. And I'm gonna have people write down one of their favorite memories with my mom. And I'm gonna make a little box so they can put it in there. And that way the next day or that week, she, or whenever she wants, she can go in there and read some of everybody's favorite memories with her i thought that was a cute um little touch on the list right now off top this is what i kind of wrote down things that we already have sodas and waters food plates her outfit and my outfit because <laughs> i'm like i have to can't forget to get my outfit and have something to wear that day so i already have her outfit and my outfit good to go dj is already booked the tables, chairs, and the tarps that we're going to use for the party are already booked as well. Things that I need to get still. Utensils, cake plates, cups. I think we're going to need plastic cups. I need to order the cake. I need to get the memory jar or the memory box. I need to go to the dollar store to look for candles and jars. So for the centerpieces, I'm thinking of just doing a vase and just simple, really pretty flowers. Uh, the vases, I always usually get them at the dollar store. I'm thinking of going to the flower mart in downtown LA because you can get a bunch of flowers for a really low price instead of going to the grocery store. But if not, if I don't end up having time, I'm gonna have to go to like a grocery store that carries pretty flowers and just get a few bouquets and just kind of break it up for all the tables i think i want to get a few gifts to give out um just for fun i've shown you guys in previous vlogs i think when i've hosted that underneath some of the chairs sometimes i'll put like a little sticker or something and once everybody is seated and eating i'll be like okay i have an announcement to make today uh, and we don't do it for every party because then people are going to expect to look underneath their chair to see if there's a sticker and then sit on that chair. So we only do it like very sparingly, just once in a while, just to kind of have fun. We don't do it all the time to keep it kind of like unexpected. Um, or we'll switch it up instead of doing under the chair, we'll do something else and, you know, to spice it up or whatever. So I think I'm going to do that get some stickers, put them underneath the chairs. And then, like I said, when everybody is sitting down and eating, I'm gonna be like, hey, um, just to let you guys know, don't forget to check under your chair. If you have a star underneath your chair, that means you won something or you're getting a little gift today to take home. And that way it's not one of those things where you feel like you gotta give everybody something. Um, usually at parties, you don't have to give like party favors at all in, in general <laughs> because you're hosting the party and you're already spending a lot of money anyway. But it's nice, that's a nice way to say thank you and make it fun and just give out like a few little prizes here and there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then the balloons, I already got those. They actually just got um, delivered. So I'm going to show you the balloons that I get. Now that I've kind of, I'm trying to zip up my sweater. Now that I've given you a rundown of what's going to go down today. Um, I'm first gonna make myself a quick, easy lunch because I don't wanna be out shopping around starving. That's like the worst thing ever. Um, so we're gonna make a HelloFresh meal and this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I have a few meals here that, um, all of them look good, but I think I'm gonna go for the cheeseburger. I'll show you which one. Mm. Okay, this week we have the beef tenderloin and balsamic steak sauce. Looks like this, that looks bomb. Kind of between that and another one the onion crunch chicken that looks really good too 
I think the one I'm gonna do today is the burger though. This is the griddled onion cheeseburger with a special sauce and garlic potato wedges, yeah. I'm for sure doing this one today. So we're gonna do this. It should only take 10 minutes to prep and 35 minutes to cook, which is perfect because it's now 2.15 and I wanna make this quick so I can go out and do everything that I need to do. All right, let's get into today's HelloFresh meal. So I've used HelloFresh here on my channel before. If you've never seen or heard me talk about them, they are a meal kit delivery service. If you're anything like me and you like to make your life a lot, and I mean a lot easier when it comes to cooking, I think HelloFresh is definitely the way to go. On the inside of your HelloFresh box, you get easy to follow recipes and on each recipe card, you're given lots of nutritional information on what you're cooking. You're also getting high quality ingredients every time. And my personal favorite part is the convenience of it all. It saves me time as far as going to the grocery store, as far as cooking in general. I'm not trying to think of what's a meal plan or when I'm gonna go to the store, when I'm in the middle of working. They have so many different variations and options they have over 30 recipes each week with options for pretty much everyone from family friendly if you have a larger family fit and wholesome veggie options as well and now you can even add swap upgrade your proteins or you can switch your sides each week and pretty much everything that you need in order to make the recipe is delivered straight to your door aside from it being super 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 convenient my other favorite part is just how fun it is trying new recipes things that i personally would never think to make or try and i kid you not i have yet to be disappointed i've actually saved a lot of my previous hello fresh recipes because they just come out good every single time i still have a lot of my um hello fresh recipe cards actually saved where I store my recipe books. So if you wanna try HelloFresh for yourself or even for your loved ones, I of course have a coupon code for you guys. So my code is Sabrina60 and I do have a link down below as well. My code gets you 60% off of your first HelloFresh box. This felt like it took pretty much no time at all. It took exactly the amount of time that it said on the card, about 30, 35 minutes to cook it and 10 for prep. So I'm gonna try it out. I have this San Pellegrino in blood orange. This is what I'm gonna drink with my burger. This looks bomb. Um, I kind of already tried the potato wedges while I was cooking and they are good. They taste super good. And then let's try the burger. It never disappoints, like ever. So I'm gonna finish up my burger and tidy up the kitchen a little bit before I head out because I wanna get back home and have a completely clean, clear space. And not have to worry about cleaning because I'm gonna be bringing stuff in and I'll probably store, sorry, I don't mean to talk with my mouthful, hold on. What I was saying was whatever I ended up buying for the party, I'm just gonna store it. Ooh, yeah, I'll store it on my balcony. Anything that doesn't, you know, obviously need to be refrigerated or anything, which I don't think I have anything. But all the decorations and whatnot, after I show you guys, I'm gonna store them out there. That way they're kind of like all in one spot, not in the way. Okay, so they have these napkins. Random Spider-Man toy. And I can get these for the cake. I think I'm just gonna get a few of these. Would you love the world where you shop? Are you in the market for a new opportunity? Maybe four should be fine. They even have the mini forks here. I'll take a few of these. Made out of the dollar store and I was able to find some stuff on my list. I found the mini 
well, I meant to get spoons, but they're mini forks for the rice pudding that I'm gonna put in these little cups. Um, I was able to find the cake plates, and then I think, I don't know, I found a box to do the memory box so that everybody can write their favorite memory in the box. I found like this round thing that could potentially work if I don't find anything else. But if I do, then I'll just use that for something else because it's only a dollar anyway. Everything else I'm gonna get at Target pretty much. So before I go to Target, since I am gonna have some stuff that needs to be refrigerated, I'm gonna go to Sephora. So that's where we're headed right now. And at Sephora, I need to get a moisturizer. So I've been using this CeraVe moisturizer the past few days. Not the moisturizing lotion, but this other one, like their PM moisturizer. And I like it, but uh, because I'm using the Paula's Choice BHA, I think that's what it's called, the BHA thing, it's kind of drying my skin out and it's crazy because i actually have very oily skin and so the fact that my skin right now is feeling really really dry i'm like okay no so i'm gonna go get the keels moisturizer which that one i've been using for a long time and i recently stopped using it because i had gone to get a facial and the woman that was doing my facial was telling me to try to avoid anything that's like too rich or too hydrating on my skin because that can clog up my pores because my my issue hold on it's gonna look terrible the lighting's gonna look terrible because i'm like directly in the sun but my issue she was telling me is that i have congested uh, skin or congested pores so i have to try to find stuff that's like not comedogenic but then if i do it's too drying on my skin. Like I need something that's hydrating but that won't clog my pores, which is like really hard to find because most stuff that is for oily skin is not as rich or as moisturizing. So it's kind of like, sheesh, how do I find something that isn't gonna clog my pores but that also makes my skin look healthy and rich and glowy. I have tried that CeraVe PM1 so far. I tried the Biosance. Uh, it's like this lightweight moisturizer as well so I was kind of between going back to the belief aqua bomb or going back to the Kiehl's one so that's kind of like my thing right now and then I also want to go get some uh, other stuff that I have uh, on my list also when I get home I'm gonna do an unboxing because I just bought these heels and they're so bomb they're I think I'm gonna wear them for the party as a matter of fact because i like the way they look but i just bought these cushions which i also got from amazon because i noticed that the heels when i tried them on my foot kind of slips a lot so i found some like grips that hopefully are going to help with the slipping because if not i can tell the heels are not going to be as comfortable but the heel itself is cute and i'm thinking of wearing to the party but they're not really they don't go with the theme because the theme is obviously black and gold the shoes are like a really pretty metallic green, but I just think they're like really cute. So I think I'm gonna wear them to the party. And for the party, I didn't necessarily tell people to wear black or gold or anything. I just kind of left the invitation blank so that people could just wear whatever they want. But we're gonna go dressed in like the theme and everything. So um, I'm gonna see how I end up liking those heels with the dress that my sister ordered. Hopefully, I like the dress once it comes. If not, it should be pretty easy to find an outfit though because all black is like super easy to find. Okay, I made it home. I did not vlog inside of target because i was like this okay uh but tomorrow i might have to go back so i'm gonna try to vlog when i um do just had to bring all this stuff upstairs and i'm dying so i pretty much got everything that i needed to get uh 
So it's a mix of stuff for the party and stuff for my apartment. Mostly party stuff. So I'm gonna have these jars full of popcorn. So I got three bags of popcorn. I'm just gonna leave them in here because I'm gonna have to take these on Friday anyway. But I got three of those to, you know, so people can snack on it. I also got two gift cards. So what I'm gonna do, you know how I was saying that I was gonna get a memory box and do that? Wow, my face is oily as heck. I feel like I look so crazy. But um, I was saying I was gonna do the memory box. I think I'm gonna scratch that off and instead do an extra game. Instead of the memory box, I'm gonna do a game. And the reason behind that is because it's a party, so I don't feel like people are gonna actually take the time to like, you know, sit down, to, sit down and write their favorite memory. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is go to Target and get a basket and fill it up with a bunch of stuff, like home stuff, smell goods. Uh, I'm gonna see what else I can find and make a really cute fall basket. And for that, the game is going to be who knows the birthday girl best. And it has like questions like, does she like soda or coffee? Or does she like tea or coffee? Or does she like um, this or that? Like it's just different things. And then whoever gets the most points at the end is gonna win the basket. So I think that's a lot cuter because it still is like, you know, talking about her, talking about the birthday girl but it's more interactive and it's also going to be competitive because it's going to be the best gift and it's very visual because everybody's going to be able to see what's in the gift basket and everybody's going to want to play so i'm going to do that instead of the memory box i think that's a lot more fun so um where i was going with that i got some gift cards these are going to be these four are each ten dollars and these four are going to be for the sticker underneath the chair situation so um, whoever has a sticker under their chair is going to win a $10 Starbucks gift card. And then this is a $25 Target gift card. And um, this one, I don't know what game this is going to be for yet, but I just bought it. And then I can just kind of plug it into whatever game. And then, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to go to Target and get that other thing. I got some eggs and salami for me. And then I got Oreo Thins extra stuff. Uh, just because the Oreos, the other ones are obviously a lot thicker. And I just want something that people can kind of like munch on. And so I figured the thin ones with the extra stuffing would be like a good little uh, snack. So I'm going to dip these in the white chocolate with the gold sprinkles. Um, just got some crackers for the apartment. Fruit and yogurt for my apartment also. So we don't need to put that in the bag. Um, so I'm pretty much keeping everything that I'm taking to the party in those bags. And I also got some donuts. I was going to get all white powdered donuts, but instead um, I got a variety. So I got the Crunch Mini Donuts. These are like golden, so it goes with the theme. And then I got white powdered donuts. And then I got the chocolate ones. So it's going to be all three the same colors of the theme so that's perfect and i'm going to just put them in like little rows that goes in the bag i got these cups that i'm gonna um put in a stack like this for the popcorn so that people can grab a cup and put a little bit of popcorn in there um and i purposely got the small cups so people don't go crazy and get like a bunch of popcorn at one time just got some cheese and some oranges for the apartment. And then the last basket, this is, that obviously is not stuff from Target, that's stuff from the grocery store. But this stuff is from Target. I just got some bread because I needed bread. These little cups, these good and gather quick bites that I want to try for myself. Um, I did get spoons for the party, I already have forks, a big old box of forks, so I'm just gonna take these, and then I got clear spoons as well. Since we're gonna need that, I needed milk, I needed butter. Oh, 
these are for myself but tomorrow when i go back to target i think i'm gonna get some for the goodie basket that i'm gonna make because i think i saw like an orange one i'm gonna try to make it like a fall theme um and do all fall colors but this is the method body daily zen body wash it smells really fresh it's cucumber seaweed and green tea so i picked that up i was gonna get the pink one but i was like you know what i'll just get this one because i got this cleanser and this cleanser is green so it kind of goes like together whatever this is the natrium the perfecter salicylic acid body wash because this has salicylic acid i'm gonna use this for my back because sometimes i tend to break out on my back and so i'm gonna pop this in my shower and see if it kind of helps with that and then i got these rice pudding cups from um target so with these it comes in a pack of six but what i'm gonna do is purchase cups kind of like these but clear if i can find them and I'm gonna split the pudding in half. So I'll put half in each cup. And so it should make about 24 rice cutting, rice cutting, rice pudding cups. And that should be a perfect amount for the amount of people that are going. Again, it's just a little treat. So just putting half of the cup is gonna be like a perfect snack. And that's what the mini forks I got are for, which I'll show you right now got some bacon and then at target they had the white uh, melting wafers so i'm going to melt these friday and use them to dip the oreos in. So that is that my voice is kind of going away because i've been talking y'all ears off and then um at the dollar store and stuff i was able to find some other things i oh, i got cups these they had them at Target, so these are just kind of like necessity for the party. At the dollar store, they had I think I showed you they had these black plates, and these I'm gonna use them for the cake. So I got a set of four in each one. There are 16. Um, so I just figured there's gonna be about I think like 50 ish people, and so I usually not everybody gets a piece of cake, so four by yeah 16 that's more than enough you can just use the rest for something else and then they had this happy birthday balloon garland thing in gold so i'm going to blow this up also on friday these are the gold forks that i got for the rice pudding i should have gotten spoons but they didn't have spoons there so i didn't mind let me just get forks and then these are some paper lanterns. It's a set of three. And these I'm gonna hang, I think, right by where all the food is. Just, I'm gonna hang them from the ceiling, three on each side. I also found this gold tray and I'm gonna use this. Honestly, I should have got two, I think. One to put the donuts, I might go back. One to put the donuts three different ones and then one to put the chocolate covered oreos but it's like a gold little plastic tray and then i have some amazon things for the party um these aren't amazon these are also from the dollar store they're just these tissue papers that i'm going to use for the prizes for the game this is the balloon garland um oh yeah it comes Oh no, that's fine. It has the string and everything. Um, so it has this clear string thing and that's where you pop the balloons in. And it also, I don't know what, the, I think these are little stickies. And then there are three different types of balloons in here. Black, gold, and then these clear ones with gold confetti on the inside. And this is what's gonna make the big old balloon garland that's gonna go over top of like these closets that they have in the garage. And then I also bought these numbers on Amazon for her cake. And these are really cute. So we got her a five. So nice. And a zero in this gold. So I'm gonna make sure to put these in the bag so I don't forget them. And lastly, Amazon, not Amazon, Sephora. I just picked up a few things that I have on my list, really only like two things. My Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which I told you guys, and then 
this Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss in Cherry Vanilla. I have this one in like this baby pink. Oh, yeah. It's not focusing. That's the one that I got. That's the color. So I have this in a baby pink one and I like it. So I thought I would get this one because this one has a little bit more of a pink tint to it and I feel like it would add some color to my lips and this gives your lips like a nice little tingle okay so that's everything that i got this uh go around i'm about to pick all of this stuff up because it looks absolutely crazy all right so i'm chilling in my pjs and i want to show you guys how i'm making the game the how well do you know the birthday girl game so i pulled up canva and right here on the right hold on let me move this stuff right here on the right i pulled up this template it's a wedding template and it has this really cute like text on it whatever so i just clicked that and i erased the names and i added this instead how well do you know the birthday girl which you guys can see right there right and then right here it has like this fake address um it says invite you to celebrate our marriage so i'm pretty much deleting all of that and i'm plugging in right here where it says invite you to celebrate our marriage i'm deleting that and i'm using the same text but i'm adding in the questions for the game so the first one's gonna be what is her full name and then it's gonna have dashes next to it and i need to make the font bigger because that's too small i might have to change the font because it kind of looks a little um oh there you go that looks better question number two is gonna be what is her favorite season what was these are kind of hard <laughs> her first job i'm just going uh based off of one that i found on pinterest i might change some of these questions but just so you guys have an idea of like what you can add if you're planning on actually using this uh you can add other stuff if you want to add a little bit more of like you know decor or glitter like i can add this cute gold well you can't even really see it honestly and I don't want to make it black because then it's going to take up a lot of ink. Um, what can I add? Let me make this completely white. And then let me see if this... No, you still can't see it. Let me look up gold. Um, I'll just look up gold see what comes up. That's kind of cute. See, and it just added like a gold little touch at the top. I think I'll keep that actually. That's cute, simple, and it's not gonna take up a whole lot of ink because it's pretty much just gonna be white and then the ink is just gonna be black and that way I can print out as many as I need to. Um, so that's just an idea you know of some of the questions and how you can make up a game super easy by using like an invitation template on canva um so i still need to tweak that but you know just so you have an idea morning we are up and at it i'm on my way to starbucks you already know the deal I'm gonna go get my complicated as hell drink <laughs> and then we're going to Target and we're going to Moments. Those are the two things that I have on my list for today. When I get back home, I am gonna order the cake for this weekend, edit the sponsor part of this vlog so I can get it sent out. What else am I doing? 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 I do want to go get my mom flowers because today is her actual birthday. So I want to go get her some flowers for that. And I think we can go to dinner as well later tonight with my dad and my sister. And I think. Oh, I need to 
show you all the shoes that I got too. A uh, little unboxing before I forget. At Home Goods, I'm hoping to find some fall decor. I want to look for a new wreath for my door and then like some cute little trinkets to put outside of my door too. I kind of gave up on finding artwork for the living room as of right now because I'm pretty sure once my lease is up, I am gonna end up moving. So I feel like there's no point in even trying to find any artwork. That's like one of the things that's left over for the apartment is just finding artwork for that wall. And that's pretty much it. In my last vlog that I posted, uh, a few people were telling me that the table that I have in the living room, the coffee table, is too big. In the vlog before that, I mentioned that, because um, it's a little bit confusing, that vlog that I posted this past week was actually filmed before the vlog I posted before that. So it's kind of like out of order, but I mentioned in the vlog before that one that regardless of if the table was too big or not i was still gonna keep it because i was gonna try to find an apartment that had a little bit bigger of a living space so regardless I'm, i am gonna keep that uh complicated and it's long and it don't even make no sense to have a drink that has that much in it but I I really want it <laughs> so I'm gonna order it also I'm filming on my Canon G7X again because I'm trying to figure out still the quality and the setup and the settings on the uh, Sony ZV-1 I was kind of messing with it and I just I can't get it down yet and I don't want to just be filming content on that camera without getting the hang of it first and I've already just adjusted like the saturation the contrast the coloring and I just I'm still messing with it so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go with what I already know are these glasses distracting I'm gonna just go with what I already know when it comes to my camera and then once I figure out the ZV-1 then I'll kind of like you know vlog with that but um I just when I was comparing the quality and everything for some reason, and the audio, I just, I like the Canon G7X. Um, so for now, until I figure out the other camera, we'll just kind of stick with this. Stick with what we know. Hi, good, how are you? Hi, what can I get from you? So I have a, a longer drink order. <laughs> I'm gonna do a grande ice blonde vanilla latte with two pumps of vanilla, one pump of apple brown sugar. Yes. Um, light caramel drizzle, vanilla cold foam, and extra ice. Okay. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs> she probably like, girl, what? What is it talking about? This is too good. It's just too dang good. Oh, and I have an Aritzia return. I've been riding, riding around with me. In the back of my car. That I need to take back. They're the sweatpants. Those are sweatpants that are like, we, the line's moving. Those sweatpants that are like all over TikTok. Um, to me, the price is just like not even. I mean, the sweatpants are good quality, but not for the price, so I think I'm just going to take them back. Because um, I already have a lot of great wide leg sweatpants anyway. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up walking out with something else. But for now, I am going to take this back. Hi, 710. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. You too. Oh, this drink is so, 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 so good.
That's so sweet. The girl I was walking behind is like, you're so pretty. I was like, thank you. That's so sweet. She was really pretty too, I told her. I'm like, you're really pretty too. All right. Pretty much got everything that we needed to get. Um, I was getting real sketchy vibes on Target. I felt like they were kind of like looking at me. Every aisle that I would go in, I felt like there was a worker like right behind me. So I was like, we're not gonna vlog in here. Um, I always feel like that instead of Target, I feel like they're always watching, and I just always feel really strange in there. I don't know, but we got everything. Um, I think the basket's gonna come out super, 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 super cute. Um, next stop, I think the last stop for the day is going to be Party City to get the sprinkles, the mini cups for the rice pudding, and um, I think that's it. We're down to the last few things. I do still need to hit up another dollar store to get some vases for the popcorn and some vases for the flowers. But I might hold off until maybe like Friday for that. Because um, I'm not in a rush to get that stuff. And I'm going to go home so I can get some work done too. So um, we're almost done. Let's do a haul, let's do a haul, let's do <laughs> Y'all, I'm so happy to be in the house. I just ordered food to get delivered because I'm like, for the day, it is, a it's like 101 degrees outside. And here I am buying fall stuff. <laughs> so uh, let me do a haul of uh, everything that I got. And then I will show you guys those shoes that I keep talking about before I for. Get. Should we sit on the floor again? We'll sit on the floor again. Ooh, oh, and I'm wearing these. Um, these are the Aritzia sweatpants dupe, sweatpant dupes <laughs> that are all over TikTok. So um, I'm wearing them in a size extra small. They fit so good, and I'm tall. Well, I'm tall, and these fit me like perfectly. I'm five seven. Sorry, I have like lint all over the place. But yeah, they're so freaking comfortable. I got them in gray also, and I just love them. Like I said, it's 101 degrees, but they're way too comfortable to give up. Plus, I'm in the AC most of the time, so it kind of works out. But um, yeah, there, that's where these are from. Let's do a little quick haul. You're going to hear my phone going off in the background per usual. And I have my laundry going. Okay, I found stuff pretty much at all the different spots I went to. I went to Home Goods really, really quick just to see if they had some pumpkins or something to put outside of my door. They had two of the same ones, and they were these really pretty white ones. And they have this like wooden stick at the top. These were really inexpensive, $7.99 and they had two of them. So I'm gonna put these outside of my doorstep, one on each side. Let me slip back a little bit. Then from there, I found this at Target. This I thought was kind of pricey for what it is. 20 bucks, not too bad, but like, how is this more expensive than like a full on pumpkin? And this is like heavy duty, so I don't know. I'm gonna see if this looks good in my bathroom or in my bedroom, because I don't have anything in there that's like fall vibes. Um, and I, this is easy to just kind of throw somewhere and especially since I have black accents. So that is that. I found a wreath. This is so nice. This was 40 bucks. At Target I also found this pumpkin which I thought was really pretty, 25 bucks. It's like this crystal pumpkin and on the bottom has a hole so you can put a candle under there if you want to and it'll you know illuminate the pumpkin i just thought this was so pretty it is glass so you do have to be careful with that but i like the size and it just looked really really cute and then we also got a bunch of uh the stuff for the basket 
this is for the game the who knows the birthday girl best game i got two sets of pens because we're gonna need pens for people to write down their answers and then um a bunch of these little bags i usually get a bunch of these for the prizes just to stick the gift cards in here so they look nice and pretty and cohesive and um so people don't know what the gift is so i got a few of these these were like a dollar all the stuff that's in here is stuff that i'm gonna um, give away and i will show you how it looks once i make it nice and pretty and put together so i got these glade uh warmers oh my god my phone is so annoying right now i'm sorry i don't i just don't want to get up to turn off the volume but anywho so i got these to put in there this is the sheer vanilla embrace plug-in and it smells so good i was between this one and the cashmere woods but i was like no this one smells very pretty it's creamy vanilla and white or orchid uh this caramel starbucks coffee that i'm gonna throw in there uh these honey roasted cashews my girlfriend actually recommended recommended these to me i tried them and they're really good so i figured i would pop them in there and you can see a theme here i tried to go for fall colored items uh, again, I'll show you how it looks once it's put together. The salted caramel chocolate chip cookie bites. Febreze, this smells good. Wood, this Dove nourishing hand sanitizer in shea butter and warm vanilla. This Dove warm vanilla and sugar cane hand soap, right? Yeah, foaming hand soap and this Dove Pampering Shea Butter and Vanilla Body Wash. To go with that, the Suave Nourishing Lotion in Cocoa Shea. I like the color of everything, it all looks cute. And the Myers Acorn Spice Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner. Who doesn't need a cleaner like that? And then I just got these uh, Scotch Bright sponges. Um, kind of throw in there because they're brown and beige i did go to party city as well to get a few things i got two more gold trays i kind of like these a little bit better i like the color of these for the donuts and for the cookies and maybe i'll use that other tray for something else tell me i'm not smart and creative so you know how i was saying that I wanted to do a champagne tower, but my family doesn't really drink champagne. They're more like into beer and mixed mixed drinks. Um, I was like trying to look for the little tiny shot clear glasses to put the rice pudding in and I couldn't find them. I looked at Target, I looked at Party City, dollar store, couldn't find them. And right now that I was at Party City, I was like, why don't I just use champagne glasses and make a champagne tower with the rice pudding inside? Duh. That is so cute. So I got this pack of, um, these are four ounce champagne glasses. So I'm just gonna put like two ounces in here and then stick the little forks in there and make a champagne tower. And it's gonna look cute and people will actually grab it to eat it. I just, they did also have the gold edible glitter slash sprinkles that I was looking for for the Oreos that I'm gonna make. Ooh, there you go. And I found a few decorations too. So even though it is a milestone birthday and So I got this pack of confetti and it has um, I think I got these for my dad's birthday as well. So it has like little hints of like the 50 in there. So I'm gonna sprinkle this on the food table and then they had this uh, air filled balloon i got two of these i don't know where i left the other one but i got two of these and you just fill it up with the little stick it comes with and there we have it i'm gonna eat really quick and once i finish eating we'll put together this basket so you guys can see how that turns out i already know it's gonna come out really cute um and then i'm gonna start putting some of these um decorations out too
party day so my hair is kind of setting right now i have a clip on the side and a clip right here right now i am headed to my mom's house so last night she ended up leaving to go to my aunt's house and so we went over there and kind of started setting up the garage area and just like putting everything where it's gonna go that way today we can easily set up i'm like i still have eye crust because i just woke up did my hair really quick because i want my hair to start to set i'm gonna have to curl it again later after i shower and everything um but i just want it because my hair wasn't blown out or anything so i just kind of blew it out last night put it in two buns and then i wanted to curl it right now so that my hair already has a bend to it because if i wait to curl it later it's gonna fall easily so um i wanted to add some curls to it that way it kind of starts to have some hold and then when i curl it again later it like really really holds so um yeah right now i am headed to my parents house so we can finish setting up they're delivering the tables and the chairs this morning and I just need to take like all the last minute things that we need and then I need to pick up the cake at two which I'll show you guys how the cake turned out too but I think I'll probably end up just showing you guys the end result of uh, some of the decor and everything because I'm gonna be running around and I already know on party days like it's just you're on the go so um, if I don't get to vlog a lot throughout the setup process, I'll just show you guys how everything turned out. Here's what I'm wearing to just kind of like run around. Uh, this tea, I got it at a boutique. I was on Rodeo, not Rodeo Drive. Where did we go? Melrose, I think. I don't know, but there's a clothing boutique on Melrose. And um, I just got this shirt from there. It just says Los Angeles on it. It's like a crop tee and I'm wearing a bralette underneath. And I'm just wearing black leggings and my croc is just keep it, keeping it comfy, flexible, and something I can move in because we're going to be doing a lot. And then, of course, I have my hair done. My phone's about to start going off, so let me head out. Ahorita que termine, voy a empezar en el garage a trapear. Bye. 